So I got quite a bit of it, actually, uh, most of the bulk off, on, just on the shape horse, and I think I was right without the, I think I do need a spoon mule, spoon mule, just to get like, some of these small parts, like it's easier, <laughs> hi Moosey, <laughs> hi bud, it's easier with the um, draw knife to get, you know, that bulk of that material off, obviously, after uh, the hatchet. And I think that I could get even, like, more taken off before I have to move to the knife. And um, so I think a spoon mule would actually help with that. And then when I do get to the knife, like, I'll have, like, the spoon, the spoon mule. That's weird to say a bunch of times. I'll have the spoon mule to, even with the knife, to do some of that detail work as well without having to, you know, like, keep it in my hands and, and, uh, you know, risk cutting myself, because I don't want to do that. Dogs are outside, all the dogs are outside right now, so the fence that we put up isn't, <laughs> it's, the fence is up, but there's still some gaps underneath the fence, which is, uh, what all the stonework that I've been doing, and, uh, we have two of our own dogs and, and a foster dog right now, and the foster dog is uh, nine or ten months old, and he uh, likes to explore, so I can keep an eye on him here and there. But do some of this detail work with uh, the knife here, and um, should really be the last step before the sanding, smoothing out. But I still got quite a quite a bit of material. Here, I always have the, I wouldn't say hardest time, but I always leave too much material on the back of this. Um, and then, knowing I did that, my, the, one of the last spoons I did, I actually went, took too much material off. So, there's different ways that you can do it. I usually like to use, like, the sunlight or a flashlight, and you can just shine the light through, you know, and see the thickness of it. Um... That's one way to do it, but I didn't really do that, and I took too much off last time. So this time, like, I always end up, I know I have, I can take off more than I leave before the knife work, but you can always take material off. You can never add material. <laughs> so I'd rather um, spend a little bit more time with the knife work than going a little um, too much with the draw knife, I guess. But okay. where's your stick? Go get your stick. Where's your stick? Go get it. <laughs> Cooper, go get your stick. No, this is not. Hi, Athena. Hi, Athena. Yep. Hi. Hi, Athena. Go. Go lay down. No, all three? Hi, Moosey. Hi, buddy. That's Moose. Get out of here. Go play, guys. No, 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 go play, go play. Sharp knife. Moosey, go play. Crazy animals. Go get a moosey. You see the squirrel?
What, bub? No, you can't have this. No. No. Hi, Athena. No, get away from the knife, baby. Go later. Go later.
sometimes I start off lower than this, but I am starting with 80 grit. Mm -hmm. Right, 80 grit. Because I, I want to take off the material, but I don't want to take off too much. So I'm lower in grit, I'd be taking off too much. This is, really should be just the smoothing uh, at this point. But there's a little bit that I do want to take off, so eh, 80 grit's good enough, I guess. Usually after the 120, I'll take a slightly damp paper towel and wipe down the uh, wipe down the spoon it for any of the leftover dust. Um, some things that you read for people who uh, for finishing spoons, some will say that you um, should get it wet like a. Uh, I can't remember how often, but a little bit more frequently, or somewhere in the steps, it essentially what it does when you wet the um, the material, it it raises the grain, and so sand it, and you'll get a even smooth the next time. I like the kind of like I like it smooth, but I like the rough marks. Like you can still see a little bit of the the knife marks, and I like that. So I don't go too crazy. I just clean up the. Um, the dust so that once I get up to 180 and 220 it's just um, it'll still sand if it's not clean it's just pushing a bunch of dust around so I'll clean off as much of the dust as possible let it air dry for a little bit because I didn't really get it wet so it won't take long and uh, I'll hit it with the next one
<clears throat> so 220 is the last uh, grit that I go to. I've seen uh, a lot, if you really want that polished, really smooth polished look, go up to like 600. I've seen some that you can even take a pebble, like a really smooth pebble, and um, that'll really help as well. Again, I do like some of the <clears throat> some of the knife marks, and you don't see all of them going up to uh, 220, but you do see some still. And I do like the look of that, so 220 is about where I like to stop. Um, yeah, I like that look. So, so this will conclude the, it won't conclude the wood, I think I named it with a wood carving series or the woodworking series, I might rename it too. Um, it won't conclude the series, it'll conclude this part of the series. So um, I'm done with this spoon, but I, I think that in the future, I wanna come back and keep adding to the woodworking series. So um, it'll be a mixture of carving and other woodworking projects that I do. Um, so it'll be kind of like an ongoing series and I'll come back and do a couple of couple episodes like every every so often just to keep it running um, and then I will do other series in between so I think this will be the last week for now that I'm just hanging out in my backyard doing uh, doing some videos I think I'm gonna go out and do some I'm gonna do a small fishing series before it gets um, to ice fishing um, and then that'll add to the fishing too the ice fishing will be into that series as well so I think I want to start a couple like mini series, like start off as mini series, and then they'll grow into like long-standing series, series, series. Did I say series? So next week I believe I will be, or my hope, eh, no. Next week I will be posting uh, probably the start of a fishing series. Change things up a bit. Gonna give it one last uh, quick wipe of the damp rag. Clean off that. Clean, just clean the surface off. And uh, next, I'll move into the drying stage. I am just finishing up. Editing the video for this week, and the spoon is finished drying. Uh, went about a week uh, in the in the plastic bag out in the sun. It seemed to dry it out pretty good. Uh, I typically will now add the oil, and I'll do that about 10-15 times. Just let it dry in the oil. You can soak it in the oil and dry it that way, or soak it in the sun, and it'll just keep absorbing all that oil. Um, I don't know why, just my preference. I, I like applying it by hand and just let it air dry and then uh, apply some more. So I'm happy. I just use uh, just plain walnut oil. I'm thinking about doing a, a beeswax finish maybe. Like a, I think the, what, I, what I've seen is like a beeswax and um, mineral oil concoction um, and it makes it uh, more water resistant and you can like wash it <clears throat> uh, it's better about what it's it's nicer it's easier to wash and, and, and maintain rather than uh, this way you have to really uh, wash it and make dry it out really really good and don't let it sit in any damp spot so it doesn't get moldy um, but yeah so I'll just take a spoon I'll see it A little bit of oil. And just 
just use a paper towel and spread it around. And you can really start to see the um, grain come out uh, when you start applying the oil. And after a while that uh, the, um, the spoon darkens up a little bit. It doesn't always stay that that you know that bright like white maple color. Um, it does darken up a little bit and it's really really nice. The grain really comes out. And that's it guys, um, thanks for tuning in for another one, and as usual, I'll see you on the next adventure.